Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I thought I would take you guys along for our weekend. I'm running off to get my hair done. My appointment is literally a month overdue. I had to cancel last month and because it's the holidays, she couldn't get me in for another month. Like my hair is bad. Y'all have probably been able to tell in my last few videos. Um, so I'm definitely getting a few inches cut. You guys will see that in just a couple minutes. Anywho, um, today is an exciting day. Um, we've got the Christmas parade and uh, a race. It's going to be my kids first race. They're going to run that race with my dad and I. This is my dad's my dad and my 20th year of running together. I've been we've been running together since I was um basically a child. And um we are capping off our 20th year by doing my kids first race. They're going to be running with us. Also my nephew is as well. And to top it all off, this race is at the parade that was mine and John's very first date like we went to this Christmas parade on our very first date so all the feelings today I'm gonna take you guys along we've got a big weekend lots of stuff happen well not humongous but like a few things that don't necessarily make up a whole vlog on their own but as we sprinkle it in over the weekend it'll be a video's worth so Come along, enjoy this weekend with us. Hope you guys are having a okay. good day so she far. She is amazing. She did such a good job. Took a little length off. I feel so refreshed. And I just tripped right out of the salon building because there's a big step there and I twisted my knees. So now I'm gonna go ice that before the race tonight. Isn't life grand? But first, Starbucks. Ta-da-da-da. John's gonna try the Irish cream for the first time. I am going to let him try it first and let me know how it is. I'm sticking with my skinny peppermint mocha. I am gonna try to not drink too much coffee right now because uh, I'm not nervous for this race. Like, listen, I have been running literally for 20 years, been doing like at least a 5K since I started running, but I'm nervous for my kids because my kids are getting nervous. It's their first race. It's literally just a 3K. Like, it's a mile, like 1.8 miles. They're gonna be fine, but they've never been you know, in like a gunshot start crowd cheering situation. And I think they're going to be super nervous. My daughter keeps calling it the big race. So I'm like, Bella, going to have anxiety if you don't stop calling it the big race. So anyway, a little bit of coffee, not a lot of it. Hey, Will. Woo! Go, Will, go. Go, Jesse. Good morning, it is Sunday morning. I have lost my voice, so I just texted Jessica from the Waldock Way because we were supposed to collab on something tomorrow that I hadn't actually filmed yet. I'm a little, I'm I usually with my YouTube, I'm like almost a week or two ahead at all times. And with Vlogmas, I only get like a couple days ahead. So I'm gonna have to plug in a different video for tomorrow. I just texted her and I'm like, is there any way we can swap Thursday? Which makes me a little frustrated because Wednesday I have my kids stocking stuffer video planned, but it'll just be like, I stocking stuff or double up, whatever, because I have another collab on Friday, so I can't really switch too much around, and then I'm gonna be out of town Tuesday, so it is what it is. Uh, so I just texted her. Anyway, so we're getting ready to go to church right now. Tis the season to be driving separately. John is taking the kids right now. I'm following him, and then we have to leave separately because he's gotta take Jesse to get new dress shoes for something today. We just figured out he outgrew his shoes last night and then um, I have to go do a Walmart pickup and then we are having company today um, after we do a Lucia Day processional. Um, my girls are going to be in the processional. My boys are gonna be passing out the, essentially like the Swedish gingerbread cookies. Um, and that's at two and then at, our friends are coming to that and then they're coming back home with us. We're just gonna do like an appetizer dinner, fun Christmas game thing. Um, they're gonna probably be back here with us around four, but then we won't be eating till like six. So we're just gonna hang out and then she and I will cook together. 
So I have to go do Walmart pickup for that. I'm a little behind on everything in life right now. December is just busy and I told the kids I would take them to Disney for a couple of days. So we're gonna leave tomorrow for that. So I'm just trying to like get all my ducks in a row. Um, so we're gonna go to church now. Thankfully we have breakfast at church so I didn't have to deal with that this morning. Um, the race last night was amazing. I was super emotional crossing the finish line with Bella. When I was about 10 or so, it was my first, yeah, 10 or 11. It was the first race that I crossed the finish line with my dad and he held my hand when we crossed the finish line. And so yesterday we celebrated our, we finished off, did I tell you? Yeah, I did. So. The boys took off ahead of us, my nephew and Jesse. They actually crossed the finish line with their arms around each other, which I thought was super cute. Um, but Bella, she started to struggle a little bit toward the end of the race mentally. That's just what running does to you. Um, and so all the hype with all the people where that encouraged the boys to take off, she started to kind of get a little panicky. So I could hear her breathing pick up a lot. So when we were crossing the finish line, my dad was next to me, Bella was next to me on this side and I grabbed their hands and we ran across together and I totally was like, the last few steps could barely breathe because I was so choked up. It was a powerful emotional moment for me. Running was my life for so long. I'm about to go into a whole spiel, running really, team sports, running cross country and track all through high school and then just, you know, keeping up with it in life has been one of the strongest, one of the things that has kept me mentally strong through hard seasons for a very long time. And so seeing the benefits now in my daughter, my getting to be there with my dad who really has like encouraged me and motivated me to be running. Um, <clears throat> at all costs, excuse me, I'm not crying. Um, he just really like, I mean, he would be working 12 hour midnight shifts in Miami and then he would go run at midnight in Miami somewhere and train for marathons and, and just seeing that was so amazing as a child. So getting to pass that on to my kids, Bella is nearly as tall as me, so running next to her, I look over at her and I'm like, I just really love running with you. And so getting to do my first race with my kid and my dad together, that was amazing. So anyway, that's how yesterday went. Off to church, then off to Walmart, then off to cooking, then off to Lucia Day, then off to party. Okay, see you there. All right, Annie and I just got back from Walmart. John and the kids are still out getting shoes. So Annie is super excited. We did a Walmart pickup and every now and then we'll get like a little special bag if it's close to a holiday. So the whole drive home, Annie was asking if she could be the one to open it. So what's in there, Miss Anna? Okay, a coupon, <gasps> popcorn, what's that? I don't know. Okay. Ooh, Ghirardelli chocolate, what's that? Olive oil sample, another one, another one, what else? <laughs> oh boy. Candy. You just noticed that candy? Ranch? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Soda. What? A soda. Coupon? Nothing, Cindy. That's everything? All right, thanks for unpacking that. All right, fudge is made and going in the fridge to set, and we're going to get the girls ready for the Lucia Penny. Look at me, do a pretty spin. So pretty. Boys looking nice. Hey, buddy. I have one too. See? You look beautiful. Hold them out. And then motion. Good job. Yep, good job. You got it. You guys have a good job. Can we have them? Yes.
For dinner, we've got soup on the stove, bruschetta is done over here. Uh, what is this called again? Candied grapes with balsamic glaze. Yes, and it sounds, where's the, where did it go in the fridge? It looks so good. Ta-da! We're getting there, we're getting closer. We love our snacks in this crew. No, no! <laughs> True story, when we go on vacation together or have family dinner together or anything together, we, no, no! <laughs> we, it's like all snacks. Snacky lunches, snacky dinners, snacky snacks between snacky lunches and dinners. We're a snacky family. Right, time. So we've got a meat and cheese board. Not gonna try to say the name of it. Can you pronounce it? Which one? Ch we got a charcuterie board. <laughs> what are we saying? This, all right. this is honey goat cheese, yeah. herb goat cheese, smoked gouda, an aged New York cheddar, pepperoni, prosciutto, prosciutto salami. All right, and a balsamic glaze, some salt. We've got crackers, olives. This is an antipasto salad. There is lettuce underneath there. Um, we've got cranberry baked brie and the mini hot dogs. This is tomato bisque. You guys just saw this yesterday. We have fudge. This is um, family fudge. Pebbly Path Fudge. I will try to link it below because I get asked every year when I show that where the recipe is. We have some, uh, my brain is going blank. You know? No, I know that's all I can think too. Yeah. No, I know. Tomato. Yes. What's it called, Bella? My, when I start naming food, every time I do this video, I forget. What is it called? Oh my gosh. Everyone's probably screaming it at the computer right now. Oh, it starts with B, doesn't it? I <laughs> know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is, those are those little great balsamic balls she was talking about. Some bread for the tomato soup and whatever this is called. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Bruschetta! Bruschetta! <laughs> Oh my! No, they only hear that. <laughs> All right, guys. It is about. Is it about 9:30, John? I'm gonna say yes. It's about 9:30. Everybody just left. Uh, we're getting our kiddos in bed, and I am going to sit down and edit and um, start packing. We'll probably be up until about midnight tonight because I'm taking the kids to Disney for a couple days. This is a vlog you'll see next week. I'm collabing with somebody who you guys all probably know very well who is also at Disney this week. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs, um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.